My voice is terrible, but is it worse than the 2022 WRX? There's a lot of controversy around this car and we're gonna dive into it. So MA Performance has this one. They're developing a bunch of different parts for it. And this one's already modified up a bit. So this already has the MA Performance prototype exhaust on it. It's on Fortunato coilovers, Volk TE 37s, Aeroflow dynamic slip kit. And I gotta say, it looks a lot better, Charlie. Looks decent, but it's come way. Uh, the, the the fender flares. So I, I still that we've got work to do. Yeah, yeah, work to do. Exactly. So today we want to take a look at this car and see: is it just cosmetics? Is there a good internal heart? Is it a fantastic car? Will my voice get better? Let's take a look. Right, so we have the iconic Volk TE37 here. It's 18 by nine and a half plus 40. In the front, it's a pretty flush setup. In the rear, it's tucking slightly, so you could probably get a little more aggressive with it in the rear. We have some Falcon Zenus 255 40 tires on here. I think the TE37s look great. Is that, um, why do you guys go with the Volk TE37s? So uh, when we picked up this car, I mean, just like you guys and everybody who watches, we knew the number one thing we were gonna have to overcome for this to be like an accepted platform is to make it look decent. Yep. And if you're trying to make a car that everybody hates look <laughs> a little bit better, the answer is always bronze TE37s. So we happen to have a set in inventory and uh, we pulled them out and they turned out to be the perfect spec. Dope. All right, coming over to the suspension, we have one of my favorite brands. We have Fortune Auto 500s on here. Fantastic choice. Um, not too many brands out yet for this platform, is it? Or Yeah, there's not a lot of offerings. I mean, we were looking for something, obviously, to put some sort of coilovers on the car, but just really ran out of options. We hit up our friends over there at Fortune Auto. They said that they were, you know, not too far down the line from, I believe, releasing them for production uh, when we had reached out. They sent us a set over. We did some track testing for them. And uh, yeah, I mean, they work great. They are now available for purchase to the public too. So. Awesome. Yeah, that's super cool. And then coming along too, to the body, body kit, lift kit, we'll call it, from Aeroflow Dynamics. I've ran these parts in the past um, and it was cool to watch their transformation of their new WRX. Uh, they painted the arches and things like that, but I really think this lift kit does a lot for it. The, coming across on the front, the side skirts, and all the way back to the rear diffuser, it does help transform it. However, this plastic bumper from Subaru just reminds me of like a baby's diaper that's full and just dragging. So they put a lot of plastic and then emphasized it by making it two-tone. The car is all white and they just have this big plastic butt diaper dragging poop. And the prototype exhaust from MA Performance. You guys are in testing and designing this now, but it's just about wrapped up, right? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this is our prototype cap back for the new 2022 WRX. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of a gap here that we're gonna correct for the actual production models. What we are really trying to figure out here is how to get the sound that we're looking for to pull out of this engine. And if I'm being honest, I think it sounds absolutely phenomenal. Um, again, fitment wise on the back, there's a little bit of room for improvement, but that's very easy changes when we come closer to the production models. So um, I'm really excited for us to release that. We're kind of looking at a mid-November release on the product. Okay, cool. And then still got that Subi rumble? Mm, a little bit? I'll let you tell me. All right, why don't you go start it up? I'll put this in here. expecting but I do enjoy the sound of it that sounds good it's deep all right we 
take a look at the exterior of the vehicle. Let's hop on the inside and actually drive this pig. So we did it. We took a look at the brand new 2022 WRX. And I gotta say, I feel better about it now. It, it, it's nice in person. The looks are a lot better once you start doing some stuff to it. Is it perfect? No, it's not there yet. There's a lot more to do. But thank you, Charlie and MA Performance for showing us this. I'm excited to see what you guys continue to do with the car. Sounds like you have a lot of exciting plans for it. And I think that's exactly what it needs to be perfect is to liven it up, get a tune on it, get some more bolt-ons on it. Maybe put a big wing back there, you know, Maybe. some little more cosmetic stuff and then uh, something with the cross track fenders and we'll be sitting all right. But the biggest thing and the biggest takeaway I can say is I like it more than before I reviewed it. So that, that's a dub in my book. What are your guys' thoughts though? I wanna hear down below. Don't forget to subscribe, that helps us out a bunch. And if you're looking for performance parts, MA Performance has your back. And if you're looking for wheels, tires, or suspension, FitmentIndustries.com. Peace.